but there it goes even to a deeper and more important level because there's a reason God has this, that Jesus makes this one of his top 10 commandments for our new relationship with God through Christ in this new covenant, in this Sermon on the Mount. It's because we're called to be ministers of reconciliation. A great passage, a favorite of mine, found in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 18 through 21, which says this, All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation that God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting people's sins against them. And he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. We are therefore Christ's ambassadors. As though God were making his appeal through us, we implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. I love that description of this ministry, that we are called Christ ambassadors. We are representatives to God, and God calls us to be reconcilers, to experience his forgiveness and walk in his mercy, to offer forgiveness and to seek forgiveness from others, because we are his representatives on this world. In 1 John it says, as he is, so are we in this world. So when people look at us, we, God wants them to see Jesus and how he relates to us. And so it's very important that in our relationships with one another, we seek reconciliation. How can we go and tell people that Jesus has forgiven you and Jesus is a God of love and of grace and of mercy and forgiveness if we're not also living that out in our relationships with one another? This is foundational that as we are here receiving the blessings of God through Jesus Christ, I, I love to think about it, the understanding that God, when he forgives us, sometimes I wish he would. He doesn't just take us out of earth and take us right to heaven immediately, but he says, no, stay there. Represent that grace you've received to others. I'm making you ministers now. Now that you've received this great gift called salvation and forgiveness from your sins, tell someone else about it. Show someone else about it. I'm making you a minister. So often we take some of these words and we make them so complicated and give them these deep meanings. But a minister means a servant. And each one of us who has received Jesus Christ and the love and forgiveness he gives us is called to be a priest and a minister of this new covenant. And we need to walk this out in our everyday lives. Ministry doesn't just happen in a church. The ministry of reconciliation, the ministry of the gospel happens in everyday life, in every single relationship you have with others. If you know Jesus, every relationship you, you have on this earth is an opportunity to represent Jesus to them. It was one of the things that God really put upon my heart and has me here where I'm at today. Before I knew Jesus, I was a loner. I didn't like people. I really needed to experience this reconciliation. But then when I experienced the love of God, I became so outspoken. I said, everybody needs to know me because I might be able to introduce them to Jesus, to be a minister of reconciliation. And that's why this command is so important and so foundational to the gospel of Jesus Christ and how we live it out as Christians, as followers of Jesus Christ, as those who truly believe in him and what he does and what his character is. We are called to be ministers of reconciliation. 